Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Grade 4 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Today, let's learn a new topic. Before that, let's start with one activity today. All of you, please take your maths notebook and get a one rupee coin. Now, using your pencil, draw the outline of that one rupee coin in your notebook. You can pause this video, finish this activity and come back. Hope you are done with that activity. Now, what is the shape that you got? Did you get a shape like this? Which is the shape? Yes, it is a circle. Now you can look around your house and find different objects which has a circle shape. And you can also draw different sized circles using these objects. You see this circle? Is this an open curve or a closed curve? You see it's a curve which is a closed one and you can see it encloses or a region within it itself. Now, how can we define a circle then? A circle is a simple closed curve. It is not crossing anywhere. It is a simple closed curve in which all the points on the curve are at the same distance from a fixed point called the center. So, on this circle, on the outline of the circle, you can mark n number of points or infinite number of points on it. And all these points will be at the same distance from the center of the circle. Agree? See, how can you define a circle then? You can define a circle as a simple closed curve in which all the points on the curve are at the same distance from the fixed point called the center of the circle. Okay, you can see a circle which has the center O. Now let's learn more about circles. You see a figure here. You have a circle here and the outline of the circle. It is called the boundary of the circle. And you can mark infinite number of points on the boundary of a circle. And you see the points A, B, D, F, E and C. All these points are on the boundary of the circle. Here you can see the center of the circle O. And you see the distance from the center to the points on the boundary of the circle. Distance OA, OB, OD, OC. These points are all at the same distance from the center of the circle. So this distance the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the boundary of the circle is called the radius of the circle. So the distance OA is a radius of the circle, OB is also a radius, OD is also a radius and OC is also a radius. When you talk about more than one radius, we call it radii. So OA, OB, OD and OC are radii of this circle. And you see, you can draw lines from one point on the boundary to any other point on the boundary of a circle. So this line is called a chord of the circle. So here, the line EF is a chord of this circle. When you draw a chord between two points on the boundary of a circle, and it passes through the center of the circle, you call that as the diameter of the circle. You see here CD is a diameter of the circle. It is a chord connecting the point C and D and it passes through the center of the circle. In any circle, the diameter will be the longest chord you can draw within it. And for a circle, you can draw infinite number of chords, diameters and radii. Hope you are clear with these concepts. Now, you see this boundary of the circle. So, the length of the boundary of the circle. For example, the length from point A all the way around the circle to the same point. Like if you are walking from point A along the circle and coming back to the same point, you get the length of the boundary of the circle. And this length of the boundary of the circle is called its circumference. So I hope you are clear with the terms radius, chord, diameter, boundary and circumference of a circle. Now look at this figure given here. You see the circle has a center O and there is this diameter AB and 
we can see the circumference on the boundary. The length of the boundary is the circumference of the circle. Here the line segments OB and OA are the radii of the circle. So you can say this diameter AB is equal to this OA plus OB which are the radii of the circle. So the diameter AB is equal to OA plus OB that is equal to a radius plus radius because OA and OB represent radii of the circle. So since it is radius plus radius you can also write that as 2 times the radius. So we can say a diameter of the circle is 2 times the radius or diameter is double the radius of a circle. If that is the case we can also write the radius of a circle is half the diameter or the diameter divided by 2. Clear? You can keep this in your mind. Now let's learn how we can draw a perfect circle. I hope you have your geometry box with you. In your geometry box you can see an instrument like this. It is called the geometry compass. Now you can draw a circle using a compass. It has got different parts. Here is the place where you hold the compass tightly to draw a circle. Here you have a pointed metal end and here is the place where you fix the pencil to draw the circle. Now let's learn how we can draw a circle given a measurement. Like when you are given the radius of a circle, let's see how you can draw a circle using the compass. All of you, please get ready with your geometry compass and ruler and also a pencil. See, you are given a question here, draw a circle of radius 5 cm. How can we draw a circle with compass here? The first step is to draw a line segment which measures 5 cm which is the radius of the circle. So in the previous classes we have already learned how to draw a line segment using a ruler. Now let's draw a line segment measuring 5 cm using the ruler. So first take your ruler then you have to mark a point corresponding to the zero mark on the ruler and name this point let, let's say O. This is going to be the center of the circle. Mark a point corresponding to 5 centimeters and let this be B. Now join the points O and B. So we have drawn the line segment OB which measures 5 centimeter. So this is the radius of the circle that we are going to draw now. We can write OB is equal to 5 centimeters. Now take the compass and place the pointed metal end of the compass at point O. Now stretch the other arm of the compass to a length equal to the length of this radius or the line segment we have drawn just now. So it measures 5 centimeter. Now hold the compass intact at the top. Now rotate the compass and complete drawing the circle. See we have drawn a circle using the compass and the radius of the circle is OB and it measures 5 cm. If the radius is 5 cm what would be the diameter? The diameter would be double the radius or 2 times the radius. So the diameter would be 5 plus 5 or 2 times 5 that is equal to 10 cm. So you can try drawing circles of different radii in your notebook. So as a homework you have to go through these topics once again. You have to go through the topic circle and drawing a circle in page number 106 and 107 of your textbook. Then you have to do one exercise, exercise 7.3. You have to complete the questions 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And after the exercise you can see some headings. One with maths, try this and my project. Go through these activities as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.